GPT set the standard for how AI should deal in text, while Midjourney set the standard in image creation. But Meta is setting another standard in a completely different field. I know what you're thinking, another Meta video? I'm sorry, I can't help the fact that Meta keeps dropping heat that's outdoing the competition. And they're back yet again with Meta Voicebox, which I call the Midjourney of speech generation. From making editing audio become simpler than ever to a brand new classifier that Meta invented that can tell authentic speech from generated speech, we're going to get into it all on this episode of AI Focus. Meta has just announced a breakthrough in generative AI for speech with Voicebox. This tool can perform editing, sampling, and stylizing, but here's the catch. It's not trained to do any of these things. It's all in-context learning. Think about what generative AI can do with text and images. They can create outputs that differ greatly in a variety of styles or even modify a given sample. Voicebox does just this except with high quality audio. Add the fact that this AI can generate speech across six languages, perform noise removal, content editing, style conversion, and diverse sample generation, and you have another bragging right for Meta. LLMs and image creators may have spoiled us, but before Voicebox, generative AI for speech required extensive training for each task on specifically prepared data. Voicebox itself just learns from raw data and a transcription to go along with it. It uses a method called flow matching, which is what allowed it to beat the former best in the biz at zero shot text to speech, VALI, both in intelligibility and audio similarity. Oh yeah, and it's 20 times faster. As you might have guessed, this AI could make a world of difference in so many areas, but it can also do a world of damage. So in an admirable move, Meta has not made the code or model publicly available yet. Their blog says, while we believe it is important to be open with the AI community and to share our research to advance the state of the art in AI, it's also necessary to strike the right balance between openness with responsibility. Personally, it's good to see Meta cares about what it's releasing, at least a little bit. With great power comes great responsibility. Wait, could Mark Zuckerberg really be Spider-Man? And all this time, we thought he was the lizard. But they did, however, release a nice paper and some samples for us to dig into, and by the end of the video, you'll know exactly how this groundbreaking new tech works. Have you noticed that existing speech synthesizers, no matter how impressive they may be, tend to sound monotonous? That's because they can only be trained on specific data prepared just for that task. These inputs are difficult to produce and are hard to come by, which result in monotone outputs. Voicebox comes built in with a solution to this problem called flow matching. This method uses non-deterministic mapping between text and speech, which basically enables Voicebox to learn varied speech data without the data having to be carefully labeled. Voicebox can train on larger, more diverse data. With this unique ability, Voicebox was trained in 50,000 hours of recorded speech and transcripts from public domain audiobooks in different languages because who wants to deal with copyright, am I right? This is where it gets really cool. Voicebox is trained to predict a speech segment when given the surrounding speech and transcript of a segment. This can be used in a variety of ways including in-context text-to-speech synthesis, here, Voicebox could take an audio sample as short as two seconds in length and match its audio style for text-to-speech generation. This could be useful for customizing NPC voices in video games or the voices of virtual assistants. ...of expression to the creative genius. Thus did this humane and right-minded father comfort his unhappy daughter, and her mother, embracing her again, did all she could to soothe her feelings. The second way this is useful is for the authentic transfer of styles between languages. Given a sample of speech and a passage of text, Voicebox can produce a reading of the text in that language. Check out this example of what I mean. First, you'll hear a style reference. This is the style in which a user wants the output to be read. The country's lush forests and diverse ecosystems. Below it is the content, which is what is going to be said. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now in the output, you can hear a woman's voice is saying the content about the quick brown fox in a much more enthusiastic way. The country's lush forests and diverse ecosystems. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This means when translating between languages, things don't have to be so monotone and weird. Let's look at more examples. The target text is what the user wants the AI to say. 
The prompt is the audio sample of how it needs to say it and the voice box output is the combination or result. And the fourth will be a clip showcasing how bad the competition is at the task. Let's get into it. Ils veulent les monter et s'en servir. Ne les gâtent-ils pas? We see by this example that, admirable as is the progress accomplished in certain regions of physics, there still exist many over neglected. We see by this example that, admirable as is the progress accomplished in certain regions of physics, there still exist many over neglected regions. When they imported the negation of such or such a particular mode of agency for when they imported the negation of such or such a particular mode of agency Tem raias que deslumbra o olhar passed within a hundred miles of Syracuse, a fact which is stated almost in those very words by the Passed within a hundred miles of Syracuse, a fact which is stated almost in those very words. Now before we get into the part I'm most excited about, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Next, and this is the part I'm most excited about, Voicebox has an effect on speech denoising and editing. Voicebox's in-context learning makes it good at seamlessly editing segments within audio recordings. It can fix a part of speech interrupted by short noises or replace misspoken words without having to re-record the entire speech. That is incredible. I always wondered whether AI would be able to do this, and evidently it can. I stutter a lot when making these videos and having this tool would make my life so much easier when it comes to audio editing. Of course the one AI I need is an open source. A person could identify which part of audio is corrupted by outside noise, crop it, and instruct the model to regenerate that segment. The blog goes on to say, this capability could one day be used to make cleaning up and editing audio as easy as popular image editing tools have made adjusting photos. Check out this example and prepare to have your mind blown. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to show you how to create a beautiful flower arrangement. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today create a beautiful flower arrangement. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to show you how to create a beautiful flower arrangement. Now check out these examples where the first clip is noisy speech. The second clip will be the input given to the model where the portion with the noise is taken out. And the third clip is voice boxes output. Truly incredible. In zero weather, in midwinter, when the earth is frozen to a great depth below the surface, when then driving over the unpaved country roads. In zero weather, in midwinter, when the earth is frozen to a great depth below the surface, when in driving over the unpaved country roads, they give forth a and leaped and curved it as nimbly as if he had been instabled a track and manger of full months when he wished himself a black dog and he was so then a green tree and he was so and leaped and curved it as nimbly as if he had been instabled a track and manger of full months then he wished himself a black dog and he was so then a green tree and he was so so from one thing to another the average yachting man if he be of that stuff of which good seamen are made soon finds his chief delight in being master of his own vessel he likes to feel that it is his skill his prowess his intellect the average yachting man if he be of that stuff of which good seamen are made soon finds his chief delight in being master of his own vessel. He likes to feel that it is his skill, his prowess, his intellect that rules. Now, let's look at some examples where Voicebox is editing misspoken words. Here, the speaker records audio, but then decides to change the words altogether based on the highlighted section of the text, and the result is amazing. Will find himself completely at a loss on occasions of common and constant recurrence. Speculative will find himself completely at a loss on rare and unpredictable circumstances. Speculative 
in zero weather, in midwinter, when the earth is frozen to a great depth below the surface, when in driving, in zero weather, in midwinter, when Jack Frost has cast his icy spell upon the land, when in driving over the unpaved. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on insurance policy that he was defending. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on a classified treasure map that he was defending on the ground. I really wish I had my hands on this. Voicebox's diverse training allows it to generate speech that is more representative of how people talk in the real world. This means soon, this AI could be used to train other speech assistant models. As a matter of fact, speech recognition models trained in synthetic speech from Voicebox performed almost as well as models trained on real speech, with 1% error rate degradation as opposed to 45-70% to degradation with synthetic speech from previous text-to-speech models. To show an example of Voicebox's diverse sampling, take a look at how different each of Voicebox's outputs sound when given a text input in these examples. Every plant in the grass is set, formally grows perfectly, and may be realized completely. Every plant in the grass is set, formally grows perfectly, and may be realized completely. Every plant in the grass is set, formally grows perfectly, and may be realized completely. Every plant in the grass is said, formally grows perfectly, and may be realized completely. This is Voice Box Demo. Oh, this is a Voice Box Demo. This is a Voice Box Demo. This is a Voice Box Demo. But like I said, with great power comes great responsibility and Meta has invented its own safeguard against the misuse of their new creation. Their highly effective classifier can distinguish between authentic speech and speech generated with Voicebox. This AI will obviously do for speech generation what GPT did for text generation and what we thought Runway was going to do for video generation. The question is, what does Meta think has to happen before it's released? I mean, they've already built a special classifier. What do you think they're waiting on? Just a more stable climate? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to see what else Meta has been up to. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.